But if you close your eyes Hello awesome people, welcome back to Mega Aquarium. This is gonna be the last episode um, Basically because this is a sort of a trial series on this game If you want to see more then make sure to leave a like and a comment stating what you want to see Do you want to see more campaign stuff or do you want to go to the sandbox mode? Uh, and if you don't want to see it, then don't leave a like or don't leave uh, a comment. Uh, or if you really like the series, then leave a like. But if you don't want to see more, then state in the comments that you, you liked it, but you don't want to see more, of course. Uh, <laughs> basically, that's it. Um, but yeah, let's go right into the game. So last episode, we are we started off in, in Elmshorn uh, with basically campaign level number three uh, of, this, of this game. Um, and we, we left off once we unlocked the Panther Grouper. Um, the Pentagrauber charms with its unusual swimming behavior and bold personality. These fish can get very big. They can get the size of 14 when they're fully grown. Uh, and they will eat a lot of pretty large fish still. Um, and yeah, we have made a pretty big um, container for them. Uh, let's go for the Volatans lionfish uh, over here. Uh, and they're fixing this. That's why this is not good uh, right now. So. We have that over here. Uh, it's. I think it's going to be time to hire one more uh, staff member who is good at feeding and fixing. We only have one, so you are hired, and you, oh wait, you are also going to be set to zone one. So you, you feeding is quite important. But yeah, so let's do you, and let's put you into zone one. We have the large heater, so that is good. So we have managed that all. Uh, we have the large heater, so we can't go for anything else right now. Uh, this one is not sufficiently heated, so we have to change some stuff around. Uh, the other thing that we have to do is we have to buy some more um, land, basically. Let's go out like that. And uh, I'm not sure if this was a good idea to just cram this all into one place right now. Uh, but what we could do, we could at least pick up this one and add it over here, because they can still reach this one. So this might mean that we can put in one more heater, or maybe a combi mini, like that. Because a large one wouldn't fit because we can't reach it then. So yeah, that's it. And now we're gonna change some stuff. So we're gonna move the moray eels that are over here. Uh, you, we're gonna pick you up and put you over here. And that is that actually finished that one, which is cool. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I wanna have the other moray eel. Uh, you should go over here too. So we're not gonna basically fill these entire tanks. Uh, but at least we're gonna have some cool stuff for them uh, to do. Uh, we, we at least gonna have let's actually go around and something over here. Uh, and at least we're gonna have some you know mixed tanks, uh, but they're not quite full to capacity because we should have made this a little bit bigger. And I feel like that we don't have the time for that right now in the, in a trial sort of series. Um, so yeah, let's let's add some sea grapes over here and here. Let's add a, um, an anchor, like right here in the middle. Uh, let's add some more, whoops, some more rocks. Right here, that should be sufficient. And let's add some more eelgrass. Oh, eelgrass for the more eels. Uh, so yeah, we have uh, a little thingy over here. Uh, what we are gonna put in here is also the Grouper's. I love to put in the Grouper's. Uh, are we still waiting on them? No, we have them, right? Where are they? Oh, they're over here, so Panther Grouper. One, two, let's actually make a four. Let's actually put in four. Okay, we need one more. Okay, we need way more caves. Uh, so that is a thing. Uh, where are my sea grapes? These ones, these are gonna be deleted. And instead of those, we're gonna put in a rocky overhang. And that's still not enough. Okay, so in that case, we're gonna get rid of which stone is it? It's that stone. And we're gonna put in, uh, just to make it a little bit different. Okay, that is not even gonna clear it. That's only free caving, free housing. And we need another one of those. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, we're gonna put in eel grass over here. Uh, we're gonna delete uh, the 
sea grapes and we're gonna put in whoops another that's rubble i don't need rubble i need a rocky rank and that's gonna do it and now we don't have enough filtering yeah okay well that's that's just the way it is i guess maybe we, maybe we can grab you and put you somewhere else we can put you like right here And then we can put in a filter. Or a skimmer, maybe. Yeah, that would definitely help out. That would that would definitely improve the water quality. So that is good. And now the only thing we have to do is wait until we have 350 uh, prestige points or whatever you want to, want, want to call it. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, of course, put in some benches. So we're going to put in a bench here and here. And that's basically it. And right in the middle, slap bang in the middle, we're going to put in a bin. Because people need bins to throw their, you know, stuff in. Um, the other thing that I want to put in here is probably a fizzy drinking machine right here. So that people can get their drinks. And that looks great. So let's take... Oh, our corals are growing nicely. Uh, okay, we have some new animal. Some Volatins lionfish. Uh, we could go for the oblique line dolly back, which is, sounds very cool. Uh, the okay, they're they're not growing anymore. So basically, they they grow to a size three, which is basically the entire stone full of corals, which they look cool. But you know, you have more colorful, and more cool corals, uh, and of course, we're gonna unlock them later on in the game. But yeah, that's gonna be if we are gonna play through with this. Uh, it seems that our staff is very busy, but I think they are good. I think they will actually have. Uh, enough time to feed all the animals uh, without the animals getting mad or not getting fed uh, and it's especially because we need to feed this entire tank now with the growlers in there it's very cool yeah the little growlers they are i think they are a little bit of a messy animal they produce quite a mess in real life they're not very uh, tidy or not not very hygienic we should say <laughs> Um, I think that's the case with those bigger Graupers, but yeah, so this is basically like a big fish tank, like the Graupers will be uh, twice as big, I think. Yeah, they're all, yeah, they will go to, to 14 out of 7, so they will become twice as big in one more day. One more day of all the mets fulfilled, all, all the needs fulfilled, um, they will grow up to be fully grown and uh, they will be twice as big. The Zebra Mora eels are already fully grown, as we see one swimming through the freaking wall, the rocky overhang. And I think this is it, I think this is it, yeah, all our Panther Gulpers have grown to a size 14. They look way bigger now, and we have, immediately we have a problem uh, with the filtering, again. Uh, so how is our temperature doing here? Our temperature is doing fine. So what we may maybe could do is get rid of this one. And that means that we have a temperature problem. But if we put in a bigger one now... Maybe we could get away with it? Uh, it's, no, it's not going to work out. Now we have to remove this, put this somewhere else. I have to put this somewhere else now. Okay, this is just a hell. We can't get anywhere with this. Oh. It's just too, too big. Wait. You don't need as many of these, of these guys. So let's get rid of those two. So the only problem now is you need filtering. But we can handle that. We can give you a large filter put you like over here that should give you enough filtering then we can put you over here and now it's fixed now we can actually work within this area awesome awesome it's very very small so if we're gonna if we're gonna have more tanks which of course we will at some point um yeah we need to keep in mind that this will is full we kind of add one more tank onto this little staff area or we have to make it bigger and we have Got a new animal again. So you just unlocked the oblique blind dolly bag. The oblique blind dolly bag has a care requirement you haven't seen before. Uh, it's this one, right? Yeah, the dislike congeners. Con congeners? Which means they can't stand being around any other members of their genus. Uh, we, we've seen that before. 
we have a fish that has that. Uh, we've already seen that in. Oh no no no! Sorry, he he doesn't he he loves to be with his own, but he doesn't like to be with other bloody bags. Gamma gamma is for antius, which are basically other types of fish. Okay, no, we haven't seen that before. That that's right. Game is not uh, not lying to me. <laughs> so it is actually. Oh my gosh, we could we could try and fill this up a little bit more. Now that there are fish in here, do you eat stuff? Do you eat you eat clams? Stony corals, gorgonians. You eat, don't eat uh, the smaller ones. You don't eat the smaller ones. Do you eat stuff? No. Okay, so basically we can add some hermit crabs in here to help with the filtering too. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's put in some hermit crabs. So let's uh, put in a whole ton of them. They won't get eaten. They shouldn't get eaten. And because of them, the water quality goes up to 70% and that's what they need, so that is that is cool. They're also in here, little hermit crabs. Yeah, this actually fills up the uh, tank quite nicely. It's now at capacity. And all the animals in here shouldn't, shouldn't eat these uh, hermit crabs. They should only eat clams, corals and other stuff. And we did it! We are now in the next level, so basically what guests now need are toilets. Uh, so we need a place to put our toilets. This this looks like a very good place to, to place some toilets. Uh, are we going to put them in the wall? No. We're going to just make a sort of a toilet room here. Um, so basic toilets, what we're going to do is we're going to put in one, two, three toilets. Oh, that's actually the, the walls what we needed to do. Uh, and what I like to do is I like to put in walls between them. Not that it really matters, but you know, it, it looks better in my opinion. It, it just looks better. Uh, and what we could also do is, for people to wait for a toilet, we could just place in a bench there. So that they can sit down and wait for the toilets, basically, if they need to. Um, wow! You are learning a lot, right? You're giving us a lot of research points, although we can't research anything! Which is annoying. Yeah, the next step is to get to 390. Maybe we should add in some more of these uh, items, these, these, this stuff. Maybe we should add in some more barrels. Just randomly around the place. We could place them right here, like that. Maybe add in like an anchor somewhere on the ground just for people to look at. So boom. Just do the do the theming a little bit, you know. Uh, let's place a bin right there for people. And that brings us a lot closer to 390 again. Um, basically, once we get that, we add another, we get another level, and we can. You know, get new items unlocked, get new fish, get new research unlocked. Uh, and that's basically what we're going for right now. So, not the uh, fastest episode today, which is a, you know, a little bit... Uh, I would love to have more. Um, you, we're actually going to move you to over here. And then we're going to move you to over here. Are they furry? Um, we could maybe add in some more fish in here, so we could add, okay, one more, more eel. We can have, okay, we, we are, we are going to rank up, basically. We did what we had to do. Okay, we have newly unlocked Harborside paint, so that's some something else that we can paint our aquariums and our walls and everything. We have a, a new algae plant, we can put nets down, a palm tree, that's all decorations which we can put down, which is very cool, and of course some new research. Uh, so the list is revealed. Great job. The collector is ready to reveal the list. It, it centers around three corals, blue tuber sponge, daisy star polyps, and toadstool leather coral. So he wants to see these corals, uh, basically. Now we have to choose what we want. Uh, we need power lights, probably, for the corals. And we... Whoa! Porcupine puffer! A puffer fish has two layers of skin. Oh, that's actually cool. Uh, but no, we're gonna go for the blue tubular sponge. Because that is what we need for the scenario. Although we're probably not going to finish this scenario in this uh, in this video, maybe we will continue later on. So assemble the list. Unlock the power light. Four tuber sponge. Four daisy star palms, which are basically he will send us. Two toadstool, he will send us that too. And we have to have a fully grown fossil blind fish in there. Yeah, I know we can set staff priorities. Um, so yeah, but we could add a fish of ten in here. 
Um, if it grows up to be 10, it won't be eaten by the Growlers too, so that is pretty important. <coughs> so, 5 they will eat. What's this? Did we... Okay, yeah, we have some... Uh, yeah. I, I won't take them in yet, because we don't have a spot for them. Basically, it's it's them tell it's him telling the collector telling us that you know we can get those from him. Um, you will be eaten, so you won't be put in there. You will be one too big to add in. Longhorn cowfish. You're armored, so you won't be eaten. You are a wimp. Uh, you will eat the starfish. We could put you in here and see if it works out. Uh, okay, uh, it's not working out with the um, filtering. So maybe we will delete you then? Yeah, let's just keep you deleted. We are working on something else now, so we need to unlock the power light, which we get a lot of points for, so that's good. Uh, let's open these up. So, delete. Oh, okay, we can trade them for a porcupine puffer. Does it need to be... It needs a porcupine, but I'm having trouble locating one. If you can supply me with one, I'll sell you as many. Okay, so we can just basically put a porcupine puffer in there and then trade it. So we have the power light, which is good. Let's go for the uh, Belfast tank, which sounds lovely, but we need the large protein skitter to house all these corals. Um, that's a bit of a thing here. We could add in some more toilets over here, but I do think that this is enough. Uh, it needs cleaning, though. So we need our... Uh, our little staff member over here to do some cleaning at some point. Where's our staff member who, who does cleaning? You. So Flick. Flick, you need to be cleaning. Maybe we should hire some more staff. Maybe they're too busy. Fixing, feeding, fixing, feeding. I'd rather have... Okay, you, we don't have... You will be hired. You will only be feeding. Um, we will manage you to say that. You know what, Rachel? You are going to be in zone 4. Like that. The water filtering is not enough here, but that's because this one is broken down. And we have to basically add, uh, repair this a little bit. Um, but they're all busy. They're all busy. But... Oh my god, look at these grouper fish. They have grown significantly uh, over the last few, uh, few days. Um, yeah. And our sponges, which is very cool, with little hermit crabs on them. That, that's cool. I like that. I like that idea. This tank is cool. That tank is also cool. Yeah. That tank isn't cool, but we can't really put more in because of the freaking um, filters. We need a we need a better uh, filtering system. And that for that, basically, we have one now, but we need the room to put it. So, uh, power pump is probably the best option now. So next step should be to create something that is a nice air well actually let's just buy all of it i don't care we have the money so yeah. um well, what we will create is a um an area for our staff so basically if we do a door here we can have like a staff area here and um wait actually let's let's build this so you can actually see what i'm doing so that we have a stair of area over here where they can get in, so that they can clean over here. Maybe at that point we should also put a broom stand in here. Um, and then we're going to build a nice little tank. So we need sponges, we need four sponges, eight, we need ten in total. So that means we have we have, we have to have ten spots for, um, for corals. So we need to have ten spots. If I make this as big as I can, we have nine spots, so this one won't do. Uh, if we would do a lagoon tank, so this is 9 on its own, so this should be 12. Maybe we could do this. I'm thinking let's make a lagoon tank over here somewhere. Like over here, where the people actually walk. Like that. And then make a wall. Down here. where we will make uh, basically the, the tanks, the, the pump. We are getting the water, the bigger water pump, which we don't really need. So we have, because we have the little one. So we can play this, place this one basically in here and connect it to that one. And then we can connect everything to that little water pump. 
Uh, maybe we should move this a little bit. Move it out there and let's add thing. Add it. Yeah. That's what I wanted. So this is now the lagoon tank. So we're gonna put in our blue tuber sponges, uh, which are over here. Nope. Oh, we're still working on them? Yeah, okay, we're still working on them. That's it. So if we now go to our messages, we need to have that and we need to build a tank with all this. So basically we have to do stuff before we get the freaking corals. Okay, well that is annoying. Um, yeah, if you want to see more of this game, then make sure to leave a like and a comment stating what you want to see. Because this is going to be the last episode, for now, of this trial series on Mega Aquarium. I like it a lot, it's very cool, I'm, I'm the only game running. And as you can see, we can just do a lot of stuff in here. And I, I, you know, I love to get to the part where we can get sharks, and there, as there's our uh, little blue tuber sponge. Let's actually go for like something like a pork pie puffer, so we can put that in, if we continue. Uh, but yeah, but leave a like and a comment stating what you want to see. Do you want to see more of the campaign? Do you want to see more of sandbox mode? Um, or, you know, is it good enough like this and we should go on to another game? Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, I have I had a lot of fun with this game and I hope to see, uh, see it back on the channel at some point. Uh, but yeah, that's ultimately up to you guys. So make sure to do that. As always, I've been Hipbone. You've been yourself. Thanks for being awesome. And thanks for watching.